Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is using the new find and replace feature in Power Automate Desktop that allows us to go ahead and find specific strings in Excel and then go ahead and replace them with an updated string. Let's go. So let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. So prior to the August 2021 release, there was no built-in find and replace function or action for Excel. Now, naturally, we could go ahead and use the function that exists inside of Excel, but it required us to go ahead and use either shortcut keys slash hotkeys hot or go ahead and record that experience itself. Naturally, that did work. It wasn't the most sort of productive way of doing it and not overly scalable as you think that this is actually a pretty popular feature. I know I've had many people ask me if such a feature exists and it's great to see that it is now there. And so what we can do is we can now use this out of box action that allows us to go ahead and to perform this specific functionality which naturally is more approachable to a broader audience. And so where we're going to find this specific feature is an action called find and replace cells in Excel worksheet. Uh, this is something you can go ahead and find simply by just searching for Excel in the actions search bar itself. So let's go ahead. Let's see this specific example in a demo and we'll see how this whole thing works. Okay, let's uh, let's jump into a demo. What we're going to do here is take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. It's a fairly simple Excel spreadsheet, but it'll illustrate what we're trying to achieve here. What I have is a series of rows that include the counterparty name of Contoso, and we want to go ahead and find each occurrence and go ahead and replace it with a value. Essentially, what we're doing is we're going to be using this feature but instead of having to record it we're going to go ahead and use Power Automate Desktop in order to use the new action that solves this particular problem for us. Okay so I'm in Power Automate Desktop got a very simple desktop flow here it's just gonna have three actions we're gonna first start off by launching Excel we're gonna open the following document to provide the path for that specific document and we'll make it visible. Next what we're going to do is use the find and replace cells in Excel worksheet. So this is the new action that is available to us in the August 2021 release and it's going to be you know, available right here and we can drag it onto our design surface and then go ahead and configure it. So let's take a look at the configuration that I've used in mine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use uh, find and replace mode. If we just wanted to find, we could do that as well, but here we want to replace the value. We're going to go ahead and turn on all matches. And so essentially what this does is it gives us the option of do we want to find just the first occurrence or do we want to find all occurrences? In my scenario, I want to find all occurrences. We're then going to go ahead and find Contoso and replace it with Contoso Inc and uh, so that's uh, naturally the goal here then we have some additional options whether or not we want to match the case so is it one of those things where you know you want to ignore sort of uppercase lowercase that sort of thing uh, here we're going to use match case and then the other thing is you know do we want to do essentially searches within cells or do we want to match the entire cells and so that's another option that we do have here as well now the last option we have is related to the search by. We've got two options, rows and columns. So initially I didn't quite understand what this did. And so what I did is I you know, went ahead and did some research and determined that this essentially impacts the way in which you find your values. Are you going to essentially look for them left to right um, in the case of columns? Or are you going to look for them essentially top down? Now, I think this, you know, largely is related to how your spreadsheet has been configured. In my case, my spreadsheet, I'm only expecting those values to be within one column. So it made more sense for me to go ahead and choose columns itself. And then lastly, we do have this variables produced. I suspect this is going to be more interesting 
when you go ahead and use the search mode of find as opposed to find and replace, but we do have some output variables here as well. So that's the configuration for find and replace cells in Excel. Then lastly, what we do have is close Excel. We're just gonna close down our document and we're going to go ahead and save the results. So let's go ahead and let's run this desktop flow and see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so that didn't take too long. Then what we can see here is we can see the cells, the output variable, And we essentially can find, you know, all of the occurrences where this was essentially found. You know, it's going to be in the first column and then the specific row itself. So that's what that variable is going to provide us with. Now let's go ahead, let's open up our Excel spreadsheet and see what happened there. Okay, our Excel spreadsheet is now open here. We can see that where we previously had Contoso, we have now Contoso Inc. And so all of those occurrences have been successfully replaced, which is exactly what we were hoping to achieve here uh, with this specific feature. So that concludes the demo. Straightforward, pretty simple, but it is interesting because it is something that I've been asked many times before is, do we have this functionality? And, and in the past, the answer had always been, go ahead and use those hotkeys. But as you see here, now we've got more of a streamlined approach can use a built-in action and uh, it seems to work pretty well. So thanks again for checking out this demo. All right, so thanks for checking out this video. And if you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy. Give that uh, subscribe button a click. And then in addition, you're obviously on YouTube, likes, comments, subscribes, all welcome. Go ahead and take care of that as well. It helps with the show being picked up in the YouTube algorithm. Thanks a lot for checking in and we'll see you again next week. Take care.